Right, today I've got a couple of self-home tips for you guys for traction at home. And this is the sort of thing we give people in the clinic for lumbar disc problems and pain relief. Now, I'm using our senior physio friend here as an example, but for you guys at home, there are two things you can do. One involves just using a yoga block, the other one involves using a towel and using a partner. And this is to provide some traction between the discs and give you some sort of relief through the pressure. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is with the towel. And this is to save your hands. Like in the clinic, we pull on people's legs, and the best way to do it is in prone because then you're in a if you've got a disc bulge there, the philosophy is that the disc bulge is going to go that way with a bit of gravity and plus you'll go into a little bit of extension. So this is really, really good to do as a homework relief tool in between physio sessions and just in general. Admittedly we use this quite early on in the acute stages, so if you've got a chronic disc problem you can probably still try it, but it's very important in the acute stages to try and get that relief so you can do your exercise and do your function. Now what I would do is get a bath towel and put it over the back of your friend's ankles and bring it in under, it's real simple stuff like that, okay? And so when instead of grabbing onto the ankles, you are grabbing onto the towel. So now I've got a decent grip here, one leg forward, and I'm just gonna just slowly drag her back and I'm watching when she's about to move. And when she moves, I know I've got enough tension going on there. Okay? So this sort of pressure, you want to make sure, if you're doing this yourself, be under guidance from the physio, but just keep asking your friend or your client, making sure that that's a relieving feeling, not an increase in pain or increase in peripheral symptoms. You've got to be very careful with this stuff. And I wouldn't hold this on for more than a minute. You know, she needs to stay perfectly relaxed. She needs to try and relax everything through her core glutes legs. I'm the one who's got all the pressure on. But at the same time, I'm going to make sure my back's straight. Okay, so I've got a bit of power through my leg. Holding on here, so I'm not really pulling with my arms at all. I'm just holding with my hands. I'm actually pushing with my foot to try and get that full pressure on. And then just very carefully, just ease that off. Make sure they don't go into spasm let it go for about a minute and then this is when they can do their extensions in between so she could do the you know, lumbar the kids extensions in between and get that moving you may find it, it improves a little bit in between the sessions now I'll show you another version of that obviously this is on the floor I'll show you another version of that when you go back in the clinic when you can do it on a uh, like a sofa or a bed if you find that it's too difficult as you as a like a helper be on the floor okay so as mentioned in the clinic we use a bed now you guys at home could use a sofa or a bed at home to do the same thing and so the, your patient or your friend needs to be on the bed with the ankles hanging over um, now normally like as clinicians we can grab on here and, and pull on this sort of thing and pull that way but you guys and we do this a lot anyway is go back and use that towel Remember, over the top of the back of the ankles, under, grab both two things. Now remember, you're not really pulling with your hands. You're just holding with your hands. So it's a lot easier to hold onto a towel. And then get in there, and then you can work on pushing back with both legs and leaning back. And when you lean back like that, because now that I'm in a standing position, it's way easier for my back. So it's good for her back, good for my back. And I can just sit here and just rest here and use my sort of center of gravity to lean backwards as long as I'm pushing through my legs to hold on, making sure she's okay. So that's one way of doing it on your front. So use a sofa, use a bed, and see how that goes. Um, good luck. But if you're not around and the person's just by themselves, they can use a yoga block to do a similar type of traction. It's not as effective, but it's good enough for when you're by yourself. So have a line you. What they need there's a yoga block like that. Now, if you don't have a yoga block, you could just use a really thick book if you wanted to. And this will provide a little bit of traction. So, grab that. What she's going to do is start in a bridge position and then lift her pelvis up and stick that block right on her pelvis. So this needs to be just on her sacrum. So not on the lower back. Okay, so you don't want to be on the lower back at all. You want to be on the sacrum. So 
What she's going to do now is lower one leg straight, so lower that left leg. Good. And then lower the left, the right leg. And then there's a little bit of traction already at that point, making sure she's not sore. Then she needs to raise both arms carefully over the head. Now what that's going to do is give her traction with her upper body weight that way and her lower body weight that way. So over the block, she's sort of giving a little bit of gapping. And she's going to go into a little bit of extension, which is going to be nice. She's just going to be careful that doesn't hurt. There's some people this doesn't agree with, so it's not for everybody. And if you're having problems, I'll definitely check out with your physio whether this is the right thing to do for you. But this, again, I only go for about a minute. Don't slide there for five minutes and then realize you can't get up. So a minute on and then a minute off. And when you have the minute off, hands back again. Bend your knees, make sure she's all okay. And then she just lifts up into a bridge and then goes there. Now, what you can do in between is do some rotation stretches or pelvic tilts or whatever you want to do. But that's a really nice one to do if you're by yourself when you've got an acute disc problem um, to give you some sort of relief. Now if it's giving you pain, it might be something else, so get that checked out if that's not working for you.